Hey, Chris Matthew here. I was chatting with Brian Gilmore from Splunk the other day, and he kind of tipped me off on how cool it would be to uh, connect uh, the Node-RED project uh, to Skynet, um, to be able to control you know devices on Skynet uh, using uh, Skynet's uh, real-time um, Node.js uh, WebSocket API. So um, what I did here is a couple of things. I'm, I'm just kind of learning learning my way around uh, Node-RED. Pretty cool, really cool, actually. Um, and what I have here is um, I'm going to inject, like like basically uh, create a call to, um, uh, to get the status of Skynet, and I'm going to just output that to uh, the Skynet IM uh, IRC channel. So if I hit this little button, boom, it says, hey, successfully injected, and we come to the IRC, and well, there you go. It called the Skynet API, and Skynet says it's online uh, with a response code of 200, and there's a timestamp. So that was really fast and really cool. Um, so then I started thinking, well, what if you like could monitor the IRC channel and uh, control uh, devices on Skynet? So um, what I have here is a uh, an Arduino with a, a breadboard, and I've got like one red LED light on this side and uh, a yellow LED light, and I've got a bunch of other stuff. I had a servo uh, connected to this earlier, um, but but so I started, I started thinking, well, that's kind of interesting. So what if um, so I think you've probably seen demos before where you can like curl, like you can say. Uh, 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 send a message to all devices and, and you know, so it's a JSON message and we'll say uh, yellow is on. Uh, so if we curl that, there we go, we get the uh, yellow light uh, on and if we curl it and say yellow off, it goes off. So that's all real-time web sockets. Um, but what's cool is if we take this same uh, JSON message that we were curling uh, to uh, the device and drop that into our IRC channel. <laughs> this is where it gets cool. We'll say turn yellow on. So we're going to chat that in IRC. That's going to go through uh, the Node Red system and uh, push that same uh, API message through Skynet uh, to this device. So let's see, it's, it's pretty fast through IRC. Look at that. So we've got it. We we basically turned uh, communicated with a Skynet device uh, through Node Red uh, by by a uh, uh, an IRC message. So let me go ahead and turn that yellow off. So as soon as I hit that, it goes off. That's pretty cool. Um, I was playing around with the uh, the the Twitter status, and um, so I connected a, uh, a Twitter uh, input. And it's set up as a uh, direct message. So if you direct message Skynet uh, with that information, so I've got Skynet here, and you can see I've kind of I've, I've played with this on and off. This pulls a little bit slower, but uh, we can say yellow on. So we just sent that message yellow on to um, here to Skynet through Twitter. Um, this this takes a little bit longer, so um, yeah. I mean, sometimes I've, I I don't know exactly what the pull cycles are, but I've seen it uh, take at least you know maybe five minutes uh, earlier testing. At first, I didn't th think it was working, and then all of a sudden, the yellow light comes on, and it kind of scared me. <laughs> That's what you get for uh, hacking on Skynet. Anyway, you get the idea. Uh, uh, Node Red is really cool. Connected to Skynet, it's uh, awesome. And um, I'm thinking uh, maybe I should write a uh, Skynet um, module uh, for Node Red so that you could have uh, real time access to all of Skynet's APIs uh, in in the uh, Node Red um, uh, user interface. So uh, stay tuned for more interesting uh, hacks. Uh, with uh, Skynet and Node-RED and uh, Splunk as well. All right?